Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So most of you know that I like to go to lots of bike races and lots of events. I went to the Tour of Utah a couple years ago and was so impressed with what Subaru did in getting behind cycling that I went out and I actually bought a Subaru. And I have, can't tell you how happy I am about my Subaru. Like I'm, just so you know, on my road, no one owned a Subaru and now three people own Subarus and it's because I really love this car and as I talk to people I have such a passion for it that they can't resist to go out and buy one. So hopefully if you haven't drove a Subaru you go do that and let's be very clear here they don't endorse me or they don't do anything to help me say that. But I've truly enjoyed this vehicle because it's four wheel drive. This year I was racing for Leadville. I wanted good fuel mileage because I travel a lot to different places but yet I wanted that four wheel drive capability and the clearance on it everything worked out perfect. The only thing that's a pain in the butt sometimes is you can see I've got a longer trailer on here and Thule does not make it to where you're able to get this up any higher. I mean you can't get this elevated any more than what it is right there and so sometimes the back end scratches just a little bit when I'm bringing bikes through certain parking lots or stuff like that. I'm willing to put up with that. That's not a big deal to me. Now uh, the other feature that Subaru gives me is I'm not the tallest guy in the world so I can get bikes on top. It's a little more work for me but I can get them on top and I can utilize the top of this uh, vehicle and it gives me a lot of storage in the back to haul all the crap that I do to races. So Subaru, big shout out to you. Thanks for what you do for cycling. I know that you even give discounts out there to certain cycling groups to be able to get a better buy on those and uh, thanks for all you do. I think you've got an amazing vehicle and I'll keep supporting you. Now I'm going to transition into this rack system. One thing that happens when you're hauling a lot of bikes, when I go to an event, uh, those of you that don't know, I have a son that's 14 years old and he loves to race. So he's usually racing at an event and so am I. And we both like when we get somewhere to ride our road bikes and our mountain bikes. We don't usually just take one bike, we take both bikes. So for us, it's like this. I mean, he's got a road bike here. I've got my road bike there. I've got my mountain bike here. He's got his mountain bike right here. But then let's say that my daughter or my wife wants to ride with us while we're there. We have to haul more bikes. So that's when everything goes on top. The reason I go with this system though is, is I've got expensive bikes in, I, I mean, I'd like to think they're expensive. Let's just say that. So I don't want this bike rubbing next to this bike all the way down the road. My previous rack is a rack that comes up and it comes out like this and you put the bikes on, latch them down, <coughs> but they could always swing and rub against each other. I hated that because I didn't want, in fact, I got scratches in this bike and this bike from a rack just like that. I, I didn't want that to happen, so I went with this system to be able to do that. The other thing I like about this system is it's extremely easy to get bikes off and on. You know, they've got a little system, throw that down, it's locked in the back, you just pull the bike right off and you're able to, you know, be on your way in what you're trying to do and get your bike ready. It's also nice because I can just pump the tires up when they're on here. So how this works is you put your bike up, put it in the groove right here, set it on the back right here, and uh, once you're there, there's a little clicker right here. You hold down, you can push that in, if you hear that noise, that noise is what this is catching into the, the different sections. And then I just give it one good push. Now I've talked to people that say you, want, you don't want to put it here, you want to put it out here. I don't know exactly uh, ideally where it works. I've never had a bike come off putting it right here. Then this adjusts back here in the very back. So you can adjust this exactly where you want it. Take this strap, put it where you need it to be, tighten it back here. And then I don't like mine really, really tight. I like it just right and then that just secures it on there nice and nice and tight so that bike can bounce, it can do whatever it wants, but it stays right there in place and rides extremely well. So this rack has worked extremely well for me in all the situations that I've had to use it in. I know that there's some other racks out there. There's some features in those racks that I really like. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do some reviews on those racks also. but. Uh, that's how you mount everything on this rack here. Uh, the Thule makes a great, they do, they do lots of cool stuff. And uh, this rack, like I said, has worked really well. So the road bikes sit back here. 
What I do also is, this is a locking system that they have already built in. You can come around, come around the fork, come around whatever you want with this system, lock the bike on. What I do though is, I have an, uh, a longer piece of cable that I've bought that I run through the bikes and then I use these to go through the ends and lock them right to this right here. So that just keeps it simpler for me and makes it more user friendly when I get somewhere to uh, undo the bikes and get through the back tires so that I have them all kind of locked together. Um, if you have any questions on the rack or the system, things I like or don't like, uh, feel free. The things that, the downfall to this rack that I don't like is too much stuff gets caught in here. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that back here it can have some wiggle in it. It doesn't tighten up in the, uh, the back as well as I want where the hitch actually adjusts and tightens. I also uh, don't like the fact that when this is all the way up that there's not, you know, it has no use but to sit back there and just rattle. Um, I know some of the other rack systems uh, have you know, the features to be able to work on your bike or do things to that nature. I wish that this had that same system integrated in it. Other than that though, it's an overall good rack um, and lots of, lots of great benefits. Uh, we have used the heck out of it, as you can tell. Um, it's very well used, all the races I go to. Oh, the other thing too, and you'll see it in another video that we're gonna do here in a second is, I wish that a fat bike tire could fit in here and a fat bike tire could fit on the back because when I'm doing uh, fat bike races, I'd like to be able to use it for that purpose. So keep cycling strong, uh, comment below. Uh, once again, uh, tell me what works for you, what you like the most, and uh, love to hear your comments. Talk to you soon.